Well, um, first of all, um, pre-season friendlies are all well and good, but what were your first impressions of Bristol City after your first competitive game at Hull last weekend? Uh, it was enjoyable. It was it was really enjoyable game. I was excited going into the game. Obviously, we had great preparation, great pre-season. Um, I know all my teammates very well now, so it was just excitement for the first game, and it all started well. Really good, really good first half. Um, second half, the feeling after the game was it's easy to think negatively and you're caught up in the emotions. But when we actually sit back and I watched the game back, we did dip off second half from we did first, but then. I think the goals are unfortunate and look, it's just a result that we didn't want to start with but it's it's one game and it's there was so many positives to take for the game. The penalty, how, how did you see it from your point of view? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a tough one. From my point of view, I'm, I'm always very hard on myself and I, I don't think I should be diving and I, I shouldn't go to ground in the box. It's a, uh, it's a split decision that I think he's going to pull the trigger so I'm just acting and purely trying to stop a goal but looking at it in hindsight and looking at things the way I do and try to improve constantly. Maybe I shouldn't shouldn't go to ground so rashly, but there's maybe the slightest touch on his shin pad, if anything, and it goes step, step, and then falls over. It's a hard job being a referee. He thinks that's a penalty. I think the, dis the disappointing thing was is we had a, a meeting with the referees and they said the threshold was higher this year, but I don't know if that was the case on that one. But look, again, it's, it's such a difficult job being a referee and... Yeah, if I'm just looking at it from my own perspective, then I need to stay on my feet. I can't go to ground in the box like that. But it's a question we asked Nigel Pearson. Would you like the AR in the championship? Um, I don't know. I don't know, you know. I don't know. I'll, I'll just, whatever rules it is, I'll concentrate on football and go out there and play. And um, whether it's there or not, I don't think it would yeah, change the way. I would see things, it's, I don't know, it's part of football and you get some and then you don't get others but hopefully stuff will go away in the coming games. Did you set a standard with a free kick for the goal on, on Saturday, is that part of your game? Obviously the defending and you told us how much you hate conceding goals but little things like that you can bring to the team as well this year? Yeah, if I can make a difference there, we set pieces, we've got a lot of players with great technical ability that will step up and take set pieces but if I'm needed, especially for in the areas where I feel that there's a corridor to bend it into or then swinging corners or whatever that may be then I've always I've always took them for the majority of my career to be honest so it's something I enjoy doing. About a thousand fans were at the open day early this week. Um, out of curious, was that the first time you've been to Ashley Gate, like sample the dressing rooms, things like that? It was the first time I've been in the home dressing room. I've also been there in the away dressing room. I've, I've played there before. I've, I've always enjoyed playing there. Um, but it was good, it was good to see the fans, good to see them smiling, some kids there really excited. Um, yeah, it was brilliant, it was enjoyable to get out on the pitch and just get a feel on the pitch before the game on Saturday. But yeah, just kind of all excitement for Saturday now, getting into the home changing room and getting that buzz for the first game and really, really looking forward to it. Um, I think for any successful team, any successful season, you need to be good at home, you need to have that connection with the fans. and. Us as players, we've spoke about it all pre-season, how much we want to get together with the fans this year, get them behind us. We know that we need to give them something to get behind, but as soon as we do, we know they'll be there and they'll be with us. So I think it's important to try and build that connection. We've done that with the thousand fans that turned up the other day and we're very grateful for them coming to watch training. And Now there's going to be 24,000 here um, at a match on Saturday, so that's really exciting for us players. We can't wait to see them and, and give them something to cheer for. Absolutely, and if you put in a performance on Saturday, they'll, they'll want to come back, and hopefully crowds like that won't be a novelty, but a norm. Yeah, uh, 100%. I hope so. I hope, I hope they all get on board. As I say, it's up to us. It's up to us to bring that excitement. That excitement something they enjoy watching. They see the passion. They see the lads running for each other, working desperate to win. And uh, the fans will get on board. The fans love, love, love their team, so they'll get on board and they'll get behind us and we can build that real special relationship going forward uh, this season. And there'll be no complacency against a side who were League One last year. Um, some of them are a big club in their own right, aren't they? What do you expect from them this weekend? I expect a tough game. I watched them the other day. They played on the Sunday. I watched the game. Um, really good side, really good players. Um, top, top manager that's been in the Championship, been in the Premier League. Um, I know him well, great manager. So, no, they'll be, they'll be well organised, good team, great players. For me, I, I watched the boy Stuart um, the other day. He seems like he's took to the championship straight away, looked a real handful, really good player. So it's a great challenge for me and, and the rest of the defenders. So now it'll be a really, really tough game. But 
if we turn up and we play at our best like we did some parts of the first half, then it'll be a tough game for them and we'll see how it goes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you touched on Stuart now. How, do you prepare for certain individuals when you're, you're playing against them in terms of what they're bringing? Um, I, I, I don't like to look too much at others. Um, it's just something I've never done in my career. It's, I've got respect for them all and I'll, I'll maybe watch little bits, obviously I'll know what their strongest foot is, um, I'll know maybe a specific run that they like to make if it's a big target man that likes to peel off to the back post in certain times for crosses, I'll know little parts like that but I like to kind of focus on getting myself prepared and, and in the right frame of mind for the game and not, not get bogged down too much about the other team, I, I've just been one to do that through my career and it's kind of helped me but I certainly know he's a good player and I seen him the other day, I, I was just watching the game out of interest because I love football and uh, just watching the game lying on the couch and I seen him play and I thought, mm, he's, yeah, he's going to be a handful, he looks a real good player, so it's a test I'm looking forward to. You, you, you touched on the, sort of the team display, um, how did you think yourself as an individual, how last Saturday, how did you rate your own performance? Yeah, I thought I thought I'd done okay. I thought I've set I've settled in really well. Um, it helps when you've got such great staff. Um, it's that family feel in the building. The players are, yeah, they're obviously great players, but first and foremost, just good people. Good, just easy to come and work here. And uh, so I feel that I've settled in really, really well quickly. First game, I thought it was a decent enough performance, but two goals going to ground for a penalty. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll certainly be looking to improve. Um, you mentioned on the, the referee, the meeting of the referees, so was that, could you just give a detail about that? Was that referees coming to the clubs or was there a representative from the club going to the referees? Uh, no, there, there was a couple of referees that came to the club uh, just to go over some rule changes and that. They do it every single year at every, every club, so it was pretty normal. But yeah, just a few, few rule changes and stuff and they went over that the thresholds will be a bit higher this season for penalties. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know, it was disappointing, but I, I can only control what I can control and as I say, my best shouldn't go to ground. So the thresholds in terms of players winning fouls, if you like, because obviously the defender, that's very good in the team, isn't it? Yeah, basically it was along the lines of, don't quote me on it, but it, uh, it was along the lines of, there will be contact, you know what I mean? Football's a contact sport and they want to go back to a kind of higher threshold where there's just not penalties given for anything really. Um, you, you mentioned about settling in with the squad and how you're getting on with everyone as sort of human beings. I mean, is there any, I mean, I know you and Joe go back to your wicked days. I know you try not to be as friendly with Joe as But like, is there anyone else in the squad that you particularly bonded with that you didn't know before? Um, all the lads, you know, all, all the lads. I try and I try and make an effort to to go and, and and to speak to them all, whether it be just throughout the day or in any way, like team bonding stuff that we've done and especially going away, help to Austria, you get to know people, you're in a hotel room constantly so I'd like to say if you ask any of them, I've, I've kind of took time and tried to get to know all of them and as have they done with me which I've been grateful for, um, look there's boys at similar ages to me like Andy King, um, Matty James, Andy Vyman, Chrissy Martin who I knew before, similar ages who I, I guess we've got common interests and we probably speak a, a little bit more than, than some others but Oh, honest to God, that is one of the things I was just not surprised with as much, but when I got here I just thought, yeah, this is for me, just a group of real good individuals that just enjoy coming to work and working hard every day, and I think that's half the battle, and I think that's why everyone in the building, despite the, the first result, is so positive that we're going to have a really good season, and that's why I want to start well at home on Saturday and get the fans behind us. Obviously the dynamic in the defence is important in terms of the chemistry you build with Rob and Tim, Thomas when he comes back, um, how are you kind of feeling that as a, as a unit is developing? Yes, it's, it's getting stronger and stronger, obviously we've played a few games together now, um, pre-season games, the first game was it, it was good, we, we spoke after it, we're a kind of little union and we, we speak, spoke after the game, we were really disappointed that we conceded the two goals, it's definitely stuff we can work on but Again, just good people that, that want to do well, they want to listen to constructive criticism, they want to chat between each other and try and make it better. So that's stuff that um, we've been doing through the week and we'll try and improve again going into Saturday. Um, just a repeated question I asked you earlier in the summer, like in terms of Bristol, has there been any change in terms of settling? I mean, are you still in the hotel, you found the place, like how are you finding the city a couple of months on? 
Yes, love the city. Um, obviously, my first impressions when I spoke to you was I think I'm going to love it here. It's a real cool place, and uh, I also think my family will like it here, which they have. We've, we've, so we've moved into a place um, probably about two weeks ago now. So a lot more settled. Misses and kids are yeah, ab absolutely loving it. Um, so yeah, it's all good. Just excited to be here. Excited for the season to start, which it has now, and everything's going really well. Thanks. I didn't, you know, Sykes is really for a young lad, he's he's got a great head on his shoulders and um he seems like a lad that can play everywhere. There's no sulking or no um that's not my position, that's not he's just He's, he's a real good team player in early chats that I had with Sexy because obviously he was a new lad coming in and Kane as well, we kind of spoke between each other and I, I knew that straight away, his mentality was great and then he went in there against Bournemouth which was the first time I seen him there and he was, he was different class, he was excellent so I think he got a lot of confidence for that so then get into the game I just said same as I was going to do, relax, enjoy it and let's keep a clean sheet, defend your back post but go forward and express yourself and then enjoy the game, yeah, that was probably my only advice to him, but as I say, he carries himself really well for a young lad. And obviously this week is a bonus week to go to Ashton Gate, are you someone who has had any great jewels of your goal perhaps on the day before the game, or like, have a feel of it then as well perhaps, or are you just someone who just allowed them? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll just turn up, I'll be excited to go play and I'll turn up, it was, as I say, it was really good, we trained there, um, did we train there yesterday? Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, yeah, so we trained there Tuesday, um, that was really good just to get a feel, just to kind of take in a visual and, and have a look around me and see, but it'll be different when it's in there and it's packed and the fans are there and it's loud. And But yeah, it's, it's an excitement, slight nervousness, but excitement is good, yeah, good. I'll be really excited for it and as I say, just really you got to put on a good performance. Um, if we're certainly not at our best, we're passing, we're stuff like that, which we will try and be, we can guarantee that we'll give a performance that the fans will be proud of in terms of work rate, effort, running, desire, and that sort of stuff that the fans love and get them right behind us. Thank you. Okay. Um, you mentioned you've turned well. Um, with the lack of second half, how wide was it that you kind of hit the ground running? Yeah, yeah um, look, the, the, there's... I don't know, we've got centre halves at the club and, and they're really, really good players, so they've helped me as well um, coming in, but I think just for just for me, when, when you join a new club, you want to hit the ground running straight away. First of all, it was getting to know my team, well, getting to know my teammates, getting them to see how they work, um, just getting to know them as human beings, and then getting my fitness levels to a place where I wanted them, um, which I have done, I feel like the training with the, with the lads and the, the coaching staff and it was excellent through pre-season. I'm, I'm not speaking for the lads, but I think we're all strong, fit, in a good place. And um, yeah, but there's, there's there's really really good centre halves at the club, and whatever free's chosen or if the manager goes back to whatever he does, there's there's lads there that can do a great job. I'm just I'm employed by the club to try and do well, help others round about me, and if that's from starting on the pitch and doing well, or stepping out and supporting the other lads that are playing, then that's what I'll do. But for me, I want to make as big an impact as possible here.